Hey, what is going on guys? Thomas Ryder here bringing you part 3 of the how to create your own high quality FPS shooter game tutorials. As always, be sure to hit the link down in the description below to go buy this program FPS Creator Reloaded made by the game creators if you don't already own them and you think that this program is awesome because it is. So, in the last two episodes, I have showed you guys how to A, set basic entities, how to make little pools or lakes, how to make little mountains, how to make flat top mountains, and how to edit the basic settings of entities, and also how to set player checkpoints. Today's tutorial is going to be a little bit shorter, but very convenient. It's going to also go off of how to edit the settings of a basic entity, and it's going to be uh, how to assign a key and how to make a door not need a key to any door. So I'm going to come back in this building. Remember, hit tab. If this little roof here shows up on your building, just hit tab and that'll go away. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add new entity, hit fixtures, double click on the door combat building, and then just place each door inside of the door frames. Remember, right click again to get rid of that entity. I'm going to come back to this table where I have the Colt 911 set, hit add new entity, hit collectibles, and hit key iron. Go ahead and set it down there. Alright, now what we're going to want to do is hover over this until you get a little green circle around it and right click. So you can see name here, and the name is key. Well, we're going to want to change that. Let's set this to combat building key and hit apply changes alright so now I'll show you why we just did that come over to the door and right click on it and so you see use key and this is basically telling the engine what key you want to be allowed to unlock this door and that's why we set the name of that key so the system knows that when you pick up that key that key is allowed to open up this door so in order to tell it that, all you're going to want to do is type in the exact name of the key that you set. In our case, it's Combat Building Key. And again, hit Apply Changes. Now, actually, I'm going to right-click on this again. And under AI System Main, this is basically the script that the entity is going to use uh, for the game to know like how it's supposed to react. So go ahead and hit this here. And hit door.lua. And this is the script, <clears throat> excuse me, that it's going to be using if you want that door to be unlocked by a key. And again, hit apply changes. So I'm going to come back over to this door, right click on it, but I don't want this door to have a key. So what I'm going to want to do is under here, under AI system, go to select a script again, but instead of doing door.lua, we're, we're going to do door no key.lua. Hit open. As you can see, the file path changed hit apply changes alright so again you can go up and hit this little rocket thing to test your level and once this is done I will resume the video and show you guys how these doors are working exactly alrighty guys I do apologize for this and because I know these doors do look a little funky mainly because they are not the right doors <clears throat> they're not the doors that I set down initially but that's because those doors are currently bugged but don't worry they should be uh, fixed in the next release beta release so as you can see when you walk up to this door it says the door is locked find a key to unlock door <clears throat> so just to show you that the other door works without a key I'm not going to pick up the key there I'm gonna walk around back here <coughs> excuse me so you can see it says press E to open door uh, door opens but you come in from the outside oh door is still locked so it's locked from both sides so let's walk back over here. It'll just automatically pick up the key for you. Walk here, door is locked, press E to unlock the door. It's unlocked, door opens. So I'm going to go ahead and press escape again to get out of the test level. Now I know this is a shorter tutorial, but again, I do hope that you enjoyed and it helped you. If it did, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as usual, can't speak. Remember to go down to the uh, description below and click on the link going to uh, the game creators. And if you haven't already, 
uh, be sure to buy their program. Like I've always I've said in every single tutorial, it's a fantastic program, and I could not be more happy with it. It's worth every penny that I spent. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out till next episode.